Well, greetings and salutations, uh, test takers. We do a free office hour uh, every now and again for people who either paid for tutoring or paid for a class. And today uh, we're going over some of the uh, performance measures found on 65 and 66. And one of the ones I would certainly be prepared for is total return. You know, when I was a practitioner, I used to say, listen, there's only two ways we're going to make money from an investment, income stream and or price appreciation. Uh, by the way, this math is more likely than I think people get in the weeds on like capital asset pricing model or future yeah. value, present value, and discounted cash flow. Uh, this is more on the broad avenues and highways of the kind of math you could expect on 65 and uh, 66. So here's where it comes up in our practice, right? We have a customer who says, hey, Dean, uh, you know, Maxine, Philip, I bought my stock at 50 and I sold it for 59. After holding it for one year, I received uh, 25 cents in quarterly dividends. What is my total return? And do we respond by saying, I don't know, I missed that on my 65, 66. Can't do it for you. No. <laughs> right, we uh, get out our calculator and we uh, try and do that. So uh, what is our inputs here? Well, our inputs is we paid for the stock 50 and we sold it for 59. Now, I'm hoping, too, that you get uh, more comfortable with language of the test. What I mean by that is cost basis is simply when you turn your money into the investment. And so 50 is my cost basis. And then 59 is when we turn the investment back in the money, and that's called sales proceeds. So when I net those two, I got a $9 gain there. Uh, 25 cents in income on four quarters, I got another buck there. So my formula is what I made from both price appreciation plus or minus, could be a minus here, it's a plus, good news, and the income stream. So we made a total here of a dollar there and the nine. So we made $10. To make that $10, we spent 50. And I always joke, and Philip, I were joking, right? If you can't decide what math to do, you should divide. Uh, Philip added to that, and I'm going to steal it from him. He said, if you can't decide, take the big number and divide it by the smaller number, or smaller number by the big number, numerator, denominator. I'm just thinking about that, Philip, on the fly. I'm not sure I'm going to steal it now, because in my own mind, I'm field testing, and it wouldn't work for current ratio or asset test ratio. So <laughs> we might have to table that one, but uh, usually it's division. So the total return here is uh, 20%. Uh, I hope you found that helpful. Remember, inch by inch. Your 65, 66 is a cinch. Yard by yard, it's uh, hard. Hope to see you in a future office hour or class or tutoring session. Thanks, Dean. You're welcome. So there you go.